All right, boys, so we got to confirm that this event is going to be coming to the NA version of the game in just a few days. And so, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and put out one of my event guides for the Benny Enma event. But before we begin, just real quick, standard YouTube generic intro, like the video, subscribe, helps your boy out. I do daily FGO content, all that good stuff. Links are down in the description down below. All that good stuff. That is the world record for you know, standard YouTube intro. Anyway, most important thing to get off right off the bat is that you have to start this event as soon as possible well not as soon as possible right like you can take a day or two before you start the event but it is time sensitive right it is very very crucial that you do not mess up and put this event off because basically how it works is that you gather materials and you build the hotel for benny enma in this event and as you go along every day like when the reset hits you get like new progress in the hotel and that uh, like unlocks different nodes and it progresses the story. So if you don't have enough built in the hotel, when the um, reset hits, you won't make any progress and you literally just waste an entire day. So I implore you, make sure that you are trying to tackle this event at a very just nice and delicate pace start early so that way you don't get completely bummed at the end and just are not able to complete the event at all or that means that you have to like farm very hard towards the end so like just tackle it and just 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 again as i say with every event try to tackle it with like a decent pace but this one keep in mind that if you slip up you will miss the event in its entirety like you will not be able to finish the event and that is like the big major thing that you got to get done and also you have to finish Lost Belt 3. Keep this one in mind as well. So it's like, if you have not finished Lost Belt 3, make sure you get that done because you don't want the event to roll around and you're like, oh, I'm stuck in Lost Belt 1. And so it's going to take me like a day or two to get from Lost Belt 1 to 3 and then I can start the event. You're already two days behind, bro. Like, just make sure you start the event. Like, I, I cannot stress that enough. Just make sure you get it in on this event because I would hate for you to like just be absolutely behind. Now... For those of all that are going to be farming this event, this is your best friend right here. This is absolutely your best friend. The drop bonus right here for these servants because these servants drop the materials that you need to build the hotel. And if you have just these servants that have the Omni drops, even if you're going to be doing like a double Scotty setup, just slapping these dudes in the back is so useful because then no matter what formation you're doing, you don't have to change your setup. So if you happen to have Benny Enma or you pull Yang, just throw them in the back of your party. Let them sit there and make life a billion percent easier. I know everybody got MASH, so I should see everybody in MASH's party, right? Everybody's got Kiyohime, then it's just a matter of having any of these other servants, which Tamamo Cat's not super uncommon. I'm sure a decent bit of people have Tamoe, uh, Dier Mood, Fion, especially if you're an older player. These are like I would say a bit more common four stars, maybe aside from these two, but I know a decent bit of people at least probably have one of these two as they're quite old. So you really should be able to fill the back three members of your party with at least these three guys, and it'll be just dramatically helping out your team building and just making it easier. But if you don't, you can always fill in with this list down here. So, you know, Sabres drop the hardwood, uh, these guys, all these five for whatever reason drop this, and then these four drop the like boltered plank. I don't know what you'd call those, but yeah. This is your best friend for this. Uh, those, are, those are like the two most important things for the event, right? I know I'm like coming at the gate, like really intense with this one, but it's like, make sure you start it and make sure you abide by this to make your life easier. Because then after that, it's so much easier, right? After this, it is so much more simple of an event. I mean, you got your basic rerun uh, for the banner over here with Benny and Mun Tamamo. I mean, this isn't a bad banner at all. The problem is that we know that Tamamo is going to be on the free to play ticket and we're going to be getting two free to play five star tickets so even if you get waiver on your first one you can just get tamamo on your second one which i do highly advise tamamo is very good for art setups she's really good for art challenge quests and as far as like immediate buffs go she does like turn one offer more damage than castoria does with the 30 percent np damage buff and the 50 percent arts buff whereas castoria gives a 20% attack buff and a 50% arts buff, barring that you're not fighting a um, threat against humanity where you don't get Castoria's NP off turn one because then Castoria gives the attack buff on NP. So that's kind of why Tamamo is still good is that immediately she can offer more 
damage than Castoria, and her NP is still absolutely broken, giving you skill cooldown, HP, and a big fat NP refund. Still a very, very good servant. Benny Enma, I mean, I already made a video on her like a couple weeks ago. She's insanely good as far as like arts DPS servants come. She's ridiculously good. Uh, Dear Mood Saber, I mean, you kind of hear him compared as like being the, um, what, like the quick version of Saber Lancelot. That's kind of true. I mean, I'm not really going to argue here who's better between Saber Dear Mood or like Saber Lancelot, but they're both rather good. Like if you think Saber Lancelot's good and like pretty easy to use, Saber Dear Mood's in the very uh, similar right. If you don't have somebody like Okita or Saber Astolfo, he's definitely a very good fill in for one of them if you need a good single target quick saber. Then you get this banner over here. Um, honestly, would probably just skip out on this banner. There's nothing too insane going on here. Like Lee's really good if you need to output like one turn of pretty de decent damage. Uh, Tomoe, as much as I love her, is really nothing special. I mean, she does pretty good damage, I guess, but her skills are a little wonky. Like she needs a little more fine tuning. And then, I mean, I don't know anybody that's actually summoning on this banner specifically for Kiyohime. If you are, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> like, I honestly don't. Um, we're getting a new CE. Well, new for newer players, but if you're an older player, this is not new. But it's it's pretty decent, right? You get an Omni buff with a 50% gauge. So just something generic. It's not the best 50% start uh, starting charge CE, but it is just generically good. Like, if you're a newer player, um, you know, and you're starting for New Year's or something, it's just a good CE you can really slap on anybody because any servant really loves having a 50% battery. And then it at least gives them an 8% buff to all of their card types. So it just kind of generally is helping them out a little bit. So it's not the best 50% start of charge CE, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you get good wife, house fox, whatever over here. Uh, this, nothing really too crazy with this one. I actually think the main prize when it comes to command codes is this one. Uh, this is meant to kind of help out servants like Tamamo Cat that stun themselves on NP. So let's say you have this on, say, Tamamo Cat's quick card or buster card or something like that. You can basically click that card before you fire the NP. It gives her debuff immunity. And so now she can actually neg completely the stun that she gives to herself. So it's really, really good um, for servants that have those debuffs that like to stun, charm or something or whatever themselves. It's really, really useful. It's it's very, very good for a lot of those servants. I think this is the prize out of the two of them. This is like fine. I mean, you know, it synergizes with Tamamo because, you know, you can apply the third skill heal to herself, I guess. Maybe that's what they want you to do. I really don't know what they want you to do with it. I don't know. It's uh not as good as something like this, right? I, I think this debuff immunity is really, really good as opposed to just 50% healing. It's kind of whack. Finally, we have the challenge quest. Um, really, this one is just beat up the monkeys and then beat up Benny Enma. Uh, the thing, though, is that the monkeys are a little annoying because, as you can see, they are all pretty much only able to be killed by one type. So the hear monkey can only be killed by buster cards. The speak monkey can really only be killed by arts. And then the C can really only be killed by quick. So it's a little annoying for that. And then right after you beat all three of them, you have to beat up Benny Enma. And it's not a separate node. This is all on the same node, as you can see right here. So... Once you beat one of them, like, let's say you beat the here monkey with like a buster setup, Benny Enma is going to slide on in. And I guess you could just go ahead and try to beat her up. But do keep in mind that the monkeys are going to be giving her these different buffs. And do keep in mind that when you pop her and uh, her first bar over here, she is um, actually going to charge her NP gauge. And it's just going to absolutely try to rock your stuff. But I mean it's it's like it's gonna take a little bit of team building you're gonna need a bit of a decent team comp to take something like this out because you're gonna want something that's pretty diverse with their nps like this is not gonna be something where you can easily just run up with like one servant unless you've got like a really good specific setup for it you can't just run up with one servant and just pop all of it you're gonna need different servants right and this is actually where specifically characters like atalanta altar are really good because you can just bring her for the c not monkey because there's not really a good single target quick servant to deal with this like you either really need melta lilith or atalante altar um and i believe atalanta altar is just a bit more um easier to have on your account because she's available in like every summon whereas like melta lilith is exclusive so she's pretty good for stuff like this but really you just got to get these guys killed right you just got to obliterate them and then take out benny Enma. you want to just get these buffs out of the way as much as possible right because you know, they're going to give her the defense and the attack buff, right? Like, just try to obliterate them as fast as possible. They don't have break bars. As long as you, like, build a pretty decent team, like, you diversify a little bit, it shouldn't really be that hard. 
Uh, this one, I also think isn't all that hard. It's more annoying, if anything, because you can see like right here, she's just slapping with so much burn damage. Make sure right here that you do not get blasted by her NP. Make sure that you have some protection when this hits, uh, whether it be like a taunt or like say Merlin skill, where you can just protect the entire party, something along those lines. Because, you know, I don't want anybody to get blasted by just going into the first bar. But then you have like all of this stuff where she's going to be burning you when she attacks. She's going to be burning whenever you attack her. I mean, she's going to burn all the enemies. It just gets really annoying. And we don't have somebody like Castoria who can just like kind of spammably use her NP and just debuff cleanse the entire party. So I advise bringing people that are, you know, like Martha, people like BB, people that are just like really solid that do have debuff cleanses um try don't bring berserkers because remember yang is a foreigner please don't do that you're gonna have a very bad time do not do that um my best advice is really to just try to obliterate her as fast as possible and unfortunately there is no event special damage mod so getting through these two shouldn't be that hard because it's only 120 and this is 307 but 601 is pretty chunky right that's a little beefy to get through but you can try to abuse some of her traits like she is female you could try to take on that you could try to bring gilgamesh i suppose threat against humanity you could try to bring someone like enkidu even though we don't have castoria enkidu still has this so if you want enkidu to maybe try to solo this and just beat her up you could try to do something like that um and then she also is divine which is pretty common i mean if you got to use someone like I, I mean i don't know like napoleon i guess if you got to use karna i feel really bad but do keep in mind that because she's divine and a threat against humanity, uh, Enkidu has a chance to stun because of divinity, and he has a chance to do a big boy damage because she's a threat against humanity. So Enkidu is probably my top pick to just try to obliterate this as much as possible, but I understand not everybody has Enkidu. But that's really it for this event. I mean, as far as like the actual nodes go, I mean, as you guys can see, they're all just pretty standard .jpeg nodes. Like there's nothing really too out of whack here. There is the... um the one nodes where you can only bring like male or females it is where is it it's somewhere up here yeah this one the hot spring ones this can be a little annoying if you know you don't have like very good male servants or you don't have very good female servants this could be a little annoying right to try to farm especially because like it's more midway during the event and these are like decent nodes to farm when you get to that point in the event so just keep that one in mind but other than that i don't think there's a whole lot that's really you know super whack about this event i think that's just a good general guide so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below make sure you hold each other accountable you tell your friends to play this event and don't fall behind but with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you guys have yourselves a nice day peace late guys